Hi, I'm Stephanie Strange. Want to hear something scary? We must always be mindful of the people we surround ourselves with. Sometimes the people who seem craziest are actually telling the truth. And even those who care the most about us won't always be around to protect us when we need it the most. Myra was looking forward to her trip to Ireland. It had been several years since she had last seen her grandmother, Kathleen. It was also her grandmother's pleasure to see her granddaughter and to give her a family heirloom, a beautiful gold cross necklace. Her grandmother promised it would bring her good luck and more importantly, protect her. Although not typically superstitious, Myra was deeply moved by her grandmother's gift. After lunch, Fiona, an old childhood friend of Myra's, invited her to have dinner in town. Her grandmother told her that she could go as long as she wore her new necklace. As Myra was finishing up her makeup, Fiona pulled into the driveway and honked her horn. Myra was in such a rush, she completely forgot the necklace, which lay on the dresser. At the restaurant, Myra and Fiona were laughing and having a good time. When an old man stumbled into the restaurant screaming, it was him, I saw him. The old man was frightened, his eyes wide and bloodshot. He was panting and his face was white as if he had seen a ghost. He called my name, the man cried. My name, I'm a dead man walking. There was this frightened look on Myra's face and Fiona told Myra not to listen to crazy old Tom, but still, Myra felt as if she wasn't being told everything. Midnight came and Myra was anxious to get home, but Fiona wasn't ready to leave. Myra decided that walking home would be good for her. So she headed down the old dirt road through the woods. She knew the path well, but it felt much different in the dark. There was a deadly silence among the trees whose shadows stretch out like twisted, thin hands above her. Suddenly, a sound pierced the silence. It sounded like horse hooves. She heard it again. It was coming from right behind her. She turned, and there in the shadow stood a large black horse. <laughs> Mounted on top was the tall figure of a mysterious rider holding something. It was too dark for Myra to make out. The horse just stood there, not moving an inch. She came under attack as it reared up and galloped toward her. Myra ran for her life so hard that her lungs were on fire. She could hear the horse snorting, its thunderous hooves pounding the earth beneath its powerful legs. Myra tripped over her own feet, falling to the ground. She curled up in a ball, preparing to be trampled to death. But the horse walked straight past her. As it did, she clearly heard her name. The rider called in a deep, hollow voice. Myra looked up, but they had disappeared, and all was quiet once again. Finally arriving at her grandmother's house, Myra's cell phone buzzed. Her eyes went wide. The text was from Fiona. Old Tom had been found dead outside of his house, apparently from natural causes. What a strange and terrible night. Opening the door with shivering hands, she immediately woke her grandmother, telling her everything. And a glimmer of fear filled Kathleen's eyes as she was told about the mysterious writer. Did he see you? Did he call your name? She asked in a shaking voice. Yes, how did you know that? Myra thought. Kathleen's entire body tensed as she faced Myra and said, That's impossible. How could he call your name? You were wearing your... Kathleen's words stuck in her throat as she looked at Myra's bare neck. The chain was still on the dresser. Kathleen's voice trembled. The writer you saw tonight was the Dolahan, an ancient Irish fairy who carries his head in his hands. He's a harbinger of death. He rides at night searching for victims. If he passes you and calls your name, you're, you're called to, to death. Initially, Myra wasn't sure she could believe what she was hearing, but then she remembered something and she felt her blood run cold. It was the flashback of Tom mentioning someone had called 
his name. Kathleen started sobbing. Gold repels Adala Han. He won't go near anyone wearing it. I'll go put it on right now, Myra cried. But before she could leave the room, something pounded the door. She and her grandmother clutched onto each other as it blew wide open. Standing in the opening was something more demon than man. He had a muscular frame with a long, tattered cloak rippling in the breeze all around him. His broad shoulders did not support his head. Rather, it was clutched in his right hand. Deathly pale, its eyes were hollow. Sunken orbs of pure black, rows of needle-sharp teeth poking through thin, bloodless lips. The Dark Nightmare rose his arm, holding the head out so the eyes were facing them. With a voice like gravel, it said, The screams of Myra echoed through Kathleen's head as she stood helpless and powerless to protect her loved one. Myra's name had been called and she had failed to wear the protective heirloom. Now, all Kathleen could do was watch. The next morning, Fiona and her grandmother came to visit Myra and Kathleen. They found the door wide open. Myra's corpse lay sprawled out on the floor. A traumatized Kathleen sat near, clutching her knees to her chest, rocking back and forth. It was a Dollahan. It was a Dollahan. Along with old Tom, a teenage boy, an elderly woman, and a young man, Myra's body was taken to the corner. If outsiders were to look at the corpses of the unfortunate souls, they would think that they had simply died of natural causes. However, the locals knew better. They knew it all too well. The Dolanhan would be back, and he would be looking for more unlucky souls to reap. Have you ever had the experience where you have a nagging health problem and keep inventing your own diagnosis? I have one piece of advice for you. Go to ZocDoc. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient reviewed, take your insurance, and are available when you need them. Go to ZocDoc.com slash something and download the ZocDoc app for free. ZocDoc.com slash something. Like and share if this video gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. See you next time.